Trudeau's agents threatened with arrest. The Trudeau administration has received a warning from Saskatchewan Minister Jeremy Cockrell that Ottawa officers will face arrest if they continue to trespass on farmland to conduct nitrogen testing. Cockrell claims that the Trudeau administration has been illegally bringing federal officials onto Saskatchewan farmlands to conduct nitrogen testing without the owner's permission. The minister brought up a number of complaints from Saskatchewan farmers in the letter, expressing severe concerns regarding Government of Canada staff, in sealerly marked Government of Canada vehicles, trespassing on private farms. The farmers who reported the intrusions made it obvious that these government officials had not asked for permission to enter the property and had not received any other kind of authorization. Additionally, Minister Cockrell warned the Trudeau administration that these acts violate the Saskatchewan Trespass to Property Act and might result in harsh penalties, such as fines of up to $200,000 and jail terms of up to six months. The Trudeau administration has received a clear directive from the Saskatchewan government to stop all illegal trespassing by sending this letter, and the Saskatchewan government has also forewarned them that if they do not stop, their employees may be detained and prosecuted. Some others find the government officials' motives to be more troubling than the actual violation. The landowners who confronted the federal officers intruding on their property claimed they were informed that their presence was necessary for a nitrate test of the water in the farmers' dugouts. This is being perceived as related to the Trudeau government's recently stated policy to reduce the use of fertilizer on Canadian farms by 30%. According to those keeping up with current events in the agricultural world, farmers all around the nation and the provincial governments in the western provinces have strongly opposed this approach. According to some observers, there is cause to believe that these actions are the beginning of a pattern of attacks on farmers similar to those that sparked massive discontent in the Netherlands and other parts of Europe. Although the federal government has not acknowledged it, there is suspicion that baseline data from the water sampling, which we now know is taking place, would be used to impose future cutbacks in fertilizer usage. For all of these reasons, Scott Moe, the Premier of Saskatchewan, has requested an explanation from the Trudeau administration regarding their precise plans. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel.